So, Multiverses is adding the Joker to the game. Mark Hamill's voicing him. It's pretty cool. I'm going to play the trailer, and then I'm just going to talk about it, because I want to talk about it. So, yeah, watch the trailer, enjoy it, and then we'll be right back. Like I said, pretty cool. I really want to do this video just to talk about what I've heard people saying. Because it's irritated me that no one's come out publicly on YouTube and said this. Or like anywhere else and said this. People are saying that Mark Hamill said that he wouldn't turn a Joker because Kevin Connor was dead. Which, yes, is true. But people are saying that he's not stood by that. Which is not true. He has. And he's done playing a Joker. What people don't understand are two things. One, Kevin Conway voiced Batman in this game. Computer, what's my location? Computer. And secondly, Mark could have done these lines while Kevin was still alive. Kevin did these lines for Batman, I'm pretty sure over a year or two ago, which is before he even died, obviously. So it would... Again, the game's been development for a while. Even if it was after Kevin died, technically Mark still kept up his promise. They will not come back unless it was involving Kevin Connors Batman. Because Kevin still voiced Batman in this game. So technically, by a nutshell, Mark didn't lie. If anything, he upheld it. He said he would never come in to voice Joker unless it was with Kevin Conroy as Batman. Well, Kevin's playing Batman in this, and so here we are. Now, it's not. Uh, it's also important to point out that in the Justice League animated Crisis movie, Part 3 is coming out soon. Mark and Kevin both returned in that. And if Mark is safe for that, spoiler alert, Kevin's dead now. He's been for a while. So how do you think they record those two lines together? <gasps> is there a thing called recording it before something happened? Oh my god. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard for people to just think? It should not be that damn hard. It's common sense. It really is just common sense. It's not a major group, but and it's not really people attacking Mark Hamill. It's just people saying that he lied. I'm not saying he's perfect, but it said that he's lied about this. It's just not accurate. It's not. He came back to play Joker either before or after Kevin died, whatever it was, because Kevin was playing Batman. If anything, what he said in that quote, something along the lines of, the only reason I'm not playing Joker anymore, this is what Mark said, the only reason I'm not playing Joker anymore is because Kevin is not alive. He's not here. He was my Batman. And they would always call me Mark Hamill and say, we want to come back and play Joker. And Mark would always ask them a question, is Kevin playing him? If they say no, he would respectfully decline. That's what he said. In this game, Kim is playing Batman. Or he did play Batman. Whatever some sense may be, we don't know. We may never know. Who cares? It's Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy. Both playing these two icon characters. Get over it. it like, why is this so hard? Again, common sense. Why is this so hard? I don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> Before I go on a rant. But I do want to talk about some more things I want to see in this game. Because I've never done a video on this game before. I wish I did. <laughs> it's not that I didn't know about it. It's that I just really wasn't interested in talking about it much. Because um, I never played it. Um, but May 28th, it does release for free. And I will be playing it then, obviously. Um, and I most likely will be talking about it. At least in one video that I'll be doing when it comes out. Or maybe the day after. I don't know yet. Um... But I saw some people saying that they were hoping for other people to be introduced. That'd be great. I saw some people say they want the Flash in the game. Look, if you know me, you watch this channel for a while. Even if you don't, you know, spoiler. I love the Flash. He's my favorite superhero. Even though he's kind of an idiot most of the time. But I don't think right now is particularly the 
best time for the Flash to be in a game where he's being reduced to nothing to make the game work, like Injustice and Justice 2. Not saying it's not great in those two games, he's pretty cool, but like, given what happened here. Or in this game, or in the Last Dance W show, maybe it'd be a somewhat good idea to just wait until the character kind of, and when I say kind of, I mean a lot, maybe kind of heals from this just ugh that we've gotten from the character so far. Because DC kind of hates the Flash. I don't know why, but they do. And it's going over a lot over the last few years. Um, so maybe not a bright idea to put him in a game where he's going to be reduced as it is. Because to mess in this game too, let's be real. If this was a normal, like, uh, a game where nothing, no one's holding back, Superman would clobber everyone in this game. Not even a question about it. But when it comes down to this game... Obviously, he has to be nerfed, which is common sense. But at the same time, to say that, you know, the Flash could be in the game and make it work, probably not the best thing to say right now. Just an idea. But that's just me, probably. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. That's the best video. Bye, guys.